snake is a water bird called swan. Oh, now swans are majestic looking birds with huge wings. So because it's white in color, we need to take a sheet of paper and keep the white side up. After we do the foldings, the white side is going to come on the top side. So let's turn it sideways and fold the top corner to the bottom corner. Press the folds and open it so that you have a center line running from left corner to the right corner. What you need to do is fold the bottom corner to the center line starting to fold from the left corner. Then fold the top corner to the center line again starting to fold from the left corner. You can turn it sideways if it is comfortable for you. All you need to do is bring it to the center line. And always remember to press the folds. You have a tip here. Again, fold this inner corner back to the sides or the edges. Top edge like this, beginning to fold from the left corner. Do the same to the bottom flap by bringing this inner corner to the bottom side, beginning to fold from the left corner. You have to try and make these folds as neat as possible so that it gets easier towards the end. And the only formula to have a neat thing in the end is to practice. So keep practicing even if you finish making one. Now, the next thing to do is make a mountain fold of the top flap. If you find this easy, it's okay. Otherwise, you can flip it over and do it like this. Bring it to the center line, beginning to fold from the left corner, do the same to the other flap. Like this. Now if you have flipped the paper, you need to flip it over again and come to this side which doesn't have any folds. You have to fold one side on the other like this using this center line into half like this and press all your folds. After folding it into half, what you need to do is fold the left tip towards the right side like this. Almost at the center, press the fold and fold it and you see a line here we will make use of this line to make an inward fold. Push in the left side inwards and make an inward fold. Press the corners and you have made a long neck of the swan. Now you need to make this tip turn into the beak and then a head. So let's make the head first by making a mountain fold like this and fold it and now watch very carefully what you have to do is make use of this mountain fold push the tip downwards like this and the sides will come over the neck like this I will explain it again to you what you need to do is first make a mountain fold Unfold it and press the tip downwards and press it like that so that the head comes over the neck of the swan. 
Now you've made the head, you need to make a beak. So just open the flaps a little and make a valley fold just a little further away from the tip like this and fold it, open the flaps and make an inward fold like this. So this becomes a beak and form the head again. Having formed the beak, fold the head back on the neck like that and you have a beautiful looking swan ready for you.